Hey everyone, I just want to give you a brief overview of the syllabus, not in super detail. I'll let you do that on your own, but just kind of some highlights here. Um, so at the top we have the general information, contact information. I'm giving you lots of ways. Um, note that the number I use for my office is also my cell, so if you just kind of be cognizant of time there, uh, feel free to text me anytime. Um, those are my emails. You can often catch me on GChat. Um, as well, if you want to do it that way, the only thing I caution you on there is sometimes I will leave it on and walk away from the computer. So if I don't respond, I'm not necessarily ignoring you, I'm just not seeing it. Twitter, if you feel so inclined, um, and then Skype, there's a dot there, Eric.leg. Um, Skype, kind of like GChat, sometimes I'll walk away and not realize that I left it on. So if I don't respond, do not take offense. Um, there's a class Facebook page. Um, if you please follow that link and join that group, we will be using that um, in a Word document. You have to hold down Control um, and then click to follow the link. Meeting time and location. I think you know we are meeting for six weeks all online. Uh, graduate course, so it is fairly intense, but I also think it's um, enjoyable. I think it's a fun class. We all have fun. It's, it's interesting. We'll have fun together. Required text. We went through that. If you don't, I am going to post a relevant section on Blackboard um, as well. If you don't happen to have that book, um, and then the social media marketing an hour a day book. Uh, you'll see the specific assignments related to that. But if you're someone who's gung ho and like chugging through it, what I want to caution you about is don't do the hour a day exercises. Um, you'll notice this is from 2008, and as you know, social media changes rapidly. So in the last four years now. Um, a lot of the specifics of this book have changed, however I really think the underlying fundamentals uh, of this book is still one of the best I've seen, so we're going to use that. Several online readings I recommend you familiarize yourself with, but you aren't necessarily required, but uh, one of the best ways to learn this material, um, because social media is changing so much, and our entire course isn't about social media, but it is, it is a chunk of it. Um, is to kind of immerse yourself in the world and keep up with it. So here's some good sites. You may need some as well. Um, but I'm going to just recommend you dive in and start reading this stuff. Um, office hours, obviously this is online, so just by appointment. Of course, objectives, I will let you read. Policies, da, 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 da. these are all pretty standard. Nothing you haven't seen before. Uh, but you may want to check on them. Okay. Assignments. This is the big thing I want to go through here. There are technically um, six assignments listed in here. I kind of think of them in buckets. Um, and here's how the buckets work for me in three different buckets. The first one is your online class participation and discussions. Um, these are for the most part going to be what I'm going to call article reviews. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, one of the best ways to learn this stuff is just to immerse yourself in the world. So each week I'm going to ask you to go out on your own, find something interesting relative to the topic, read it, uh, and then summarize it on the discussion board, and then respond to at least one classmate. Of course, I would love, love, love for you to read everybody's posts. These generally aren't long art articles you will find, and perhaps where article is um, even a misnomer, because I don't necessarily need for some academic journal, a blog, anything online, something relevant to the subject. Um, post about it. Tell everybody about it, how it's useful, whatever you want. Um, we're going to do five of those, um, and that's going to be 20% of your grades, so 4% each. The second bucket is uh, what I call social media tools participation. Uh, kind of like with the article analysis, I'm sorry, not, yeah, the article analysis, um, where I say the best way to learn is to dive in. This is similar. So we're going to look at three tools, uh, Facebook, blogs, and Twitter. And each week I'm going to have an assignment, something for you to do on this. Um, this is mostly just to get you comfortable using social media tools. They may change next year. Um, and in fact, they change so rapidly that wouldn't surprise me. So it's not necessarily about these specific tools, but I just want you to be kind of comfortable in that world. Learn to dwell in the world. Learn to play with it. Um, learn some of the kind of bigger concepts with it. So that's bucket two. Um, bucket three is your more traditional assignments and there are four of them although the first three will roll up into the fourth and uh, with some additions on the fourth. Um, there are situation analysis, a website critique, um, and a website outline information architecture and then a marketing plan and the first three roll up into that. Um, the way I handle these assignments is they are all essentially due um, by the end of class. 
Um, that being said, um, I have recommended due dates for each of them to keep you on task. Um, and also that's going to allow you to get some feedback which will roll up into your final one. So you'll see down below the recommended due dates for each of those. However, most of you are working professionals and I realize the schedules are a little weird. Um, so the important thing is to get them all done <laughs> by the end of the class. I'll also say this only works because in the past I've done this and people, for the most part, hold to those recommended deadlines. If you all turned everything in at the end of class, this wouldn't work anymore from, from my perspective. So um, try to handle those recommended deadlines, but again, you're, you're adults and you're professionals, um, so make it work for you. So um, those four together are a total of 60%. So 20% online discussion, 20% um, tools presentation and then 60% total for those four assignments. Um, so you see how that's broken down there. So a brief overview of kind of week to week. Uh, week one we're going to do intro to marketing. Uh, we're going to call marketing 101 in one week. So a bit of a whirlwind. You hear the dogs barking in the background. We'll hold for a second. So Week one is marketing 101 in a week, and you'll kind of see your assignments there. Um, I will let you I'll let you read those yourself. I'm gonna pause again for a second. Hopefully, we'll see what the dogs are barking about. Okay, so week two, we're gonna talk about website design. I don't expect you to be uh, some technical website genius by the end of this class, but I do expect you to kind of understand some principles to be able to look at a website um, and think about your customer. We're also going to talk about email. No, email is not dead. Um, in fact, email, I would argue, is still an extremely important piece of marketing, so we're going to talk about that. Week three, we're going to start to get into social media, which is going to cover the last four weeks of our class. Um, this is all about the fundamentals, understanding the concepts. Um, so this this is going to be that social media an hour a day book, as I mentioned above. Um, the concepts in this book are great. The exercises are outdated, so really stick to the exercises. Uh, week four, we're going to talk about some specific tools, uh, blogs, Facebook, and Twitter, some specific tips for those. Um, again, this stuff changes so rapidly that I don't want you to get too wrapped up into specifics, um, but I want you to think about specifics in terms of how it relates to the bigger concepts. But we'll, we'll get there when we get there. Week 5 is about measuring success. Um, so it's great that you know how to do marketing efforts, but how do you know when you're successful? Um, how do you measure that? And it can be particularly tricky with social media, so we can talk about that. Um, and then week 6 is putting it all together, and the focus of that is going to be your, your marketing plan. Going to be your capstone kind of project for this course. I'm just going to roll those other things up. So, that in a whirlwind is your syllabus. Um, if you have any questions, here's all my contact information. Um, feel free to give me a shout anytime. And I look forward to seeing you in class online very soon. Have a great day.